Listen, old girl. I'm trying to be nice to you here. Hey, I'm going to give you some fresh oil. I'll give you a fresh solenoid. Oh, I'll even put some fresh gas in you. You just got to help me out a little bit. That's all. Just help me out a little bit. Oh. Guess I forgot to put a bolt back in. Maybe that's why she's upset. Welcome back. Welcome back. Work continues on the lawn tractor today. We got, uh, if you remember the last video, we got the starter in, got the new gear in, got everything all hooked back up. Then we developed the problem. Here's the problem. We've got to add the weight to the seat for the safety shutoff. We'll watch the lights. You hear that? We got nothing. That means we have an electrical issue. And I believe it's going to be the coil. We're going to check that right now. We're going to see if we can start this motor by crossing the two terminals on the solenoid, which is nothing more than a switch. If that's the case, our solenoid is going to be bad. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Got me jumping. Well, decided it didn't want to start. But it turns over, which means when we cross the terminals, we're completing the switch. I did go to the Amazon Rainforest and order us a new one. So we're going to swap that out real quick and see if we can get this thing started. I believe it's out of gas. I've been starting and stopping it for the past few weeks. And uh, I think I just ran it dry. But let's get this thing switched out. Alright, hopefully you can all see that. I'll get my pointer. Get the screwdriver. Right here are the two terminals that I was crossing to try and get this thing to run. That's the solenoid right there. 210 mm. Let's spit that out in a hurry. That's what happens when you try and talk too fast. Two 10 millimeter bolts. We'll take that off there. We'll switch all the wires over. And it doesn't matter which post they go on. They just all can't go on the same post, obviously. But uh, we're going to get that switched out. And hopefully that solves our problem. It's always a good idea to unhook your battery. Before you start messing around with that. All right, battery's unhooked. Let's get this solenoid out of here. difficult than it was supposed to be and here we'll pull this down now here's our solenoid right here okay this one's a four post when we have a four post so all we're gonna do is just take the wires off of here transfer them over to the other one just the way they are on here and we should be good to go keyword should be good to go that's word uh, not word the nuts on the solenoid are 13 millimeter this one here is our ground I think put that one on this one here So the 13 millimeter nuts that fit on that solenoid do not fit on this solenoid. So we're going to use the ones that come with it. A little bit big, but we'll make it work. All right, so our ground is tight. 
Now we're going to swap over our hot. thing we got to do is switch over the, the ground and this blue wire which I have no idea what either one of them do all right we got our battery hooked back up our solenoids just sitting there we're gonna see how it goes before we fight to get it mounted back in there because it was not fun to get out we're gonna put our weight back on the seat we're gonna turn our key and nothing. Hmm. Same click as before. All right. Yes, it runs. But still. I have to cross those two terminals to get it to run. Otherwise, it just clicks down on the starter. We're going to have to figure that one out. Obviously, the starter works. The new gear works. The solenoid, well, that's a brand new solenoid, so it should work. If I start cross those, I can start the motor. Otherwise, as you heard, it just clicks. Let's try it again. I guess one thing we can check is our connection down on the battery here looks like it's all there hey that's tight one thing that did come unhooked before I'll show this to you was this wire right here and it came out of this junction right here I just noticed it's out I'm going to put that back in see what happens. Alright, so there it is there. We've got it all plugged back in now, but that's not the right plug connector for that. We've got our weight on here for our switch. What happens? Same thing. Hmm. Okay. wonder if maybe we got a bad ground somewhere. But it's still starting off the solenoid. Hmm. Figure that one out. I guess we're going to have to. Well, it's been a minute since we've been on Project Alice. Again, we got the new solenoid put in. It clunks when you turn the key. Nothing else. You can start it by crossing the solenoid, but that's not how we want to have to do it each and every time. Also, the drive belt broke, so we can't really drive it around until I get another belt. But we got to fix the starting issue. I think I figured it out. All right, so I believe this is the ground side of the solenoid. Now, if I follow that down, it comes out right here. And goes down through the chassis and out the bottom which is, hopefully you can see that, right over here. I'm going to take that off, get it all cleaned up, put it back together, and see if maybe, there you are, it's a dirty ground. Nobody likes a dirty ground. All right, without further delay, let's see if that fixed our problem. We're going to choke it. 
Put her weight on the seat here. That simulates me. A little lighter. And we're going to turn the key. Well, that appeared to be it. Alice had a dirty ground. Hopefully, that wasn't a fluke. I did start it a couple times after that. It, it worked fine, but uh, a little temperamental. I'm most likely going to tear this thing right down to the chassis, clean it all up, put it all back together with new wires, new everything. That way I know it's not going to have a problem. Well, it might have a problem because I'm the one wiring it, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it all cleaned up, all new stuff on it, and uh, hopefully it's a good runner. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later. I'm kind of liking this type of content. If you guys want more automotive related stuff or lawnmowers or anything like that. Let me know. Leave me a comment down below because I like doing this. And let's be real. The fish ain't always biting.